sometimes mental health conditions kind of become almost a trend and everyone wants to have that label to say that they have a condition but I think once you're actually living through it you realise how much different it is to what society kind of thinks it to be. Do we ever talk to kids about emotions, about emotional health and emotional intelligence and we need that and mental health starts there, it starts at school. It starts how to talk to kids about emotions and how they can show emotions and gradually then there becomes hopefully not a stigma around it. That's the important part of the college is that it recognises and values lived experience as much as learned experience. The value uh, is in both and I suppose for the peers, uh, the students coming in, uh, it's extremely important to realise that your lived experience is as valuable as the learnt experience. When your mood is strong, it ripples. The energy seems to be like a magnet. You're pulling and the conversations are nice and smiles and it's still a rainy day but you're smiling. I spent 20 years apologising to my mother for being ill and she spent 20 years apologising to me for not realise, realising I'm ill. A recovery to me, I suppose, is um, finding a meaningful life for yourself with or without ongoing symptoms of mental ill health or mental health challenges. So the biggest revelation for me in the recovery college was that other people felt the same way as you did. But everybody's afraid to say, and once people say it, the relief is it's palpable. There's so much more to recovery. There's not just the whole aspect of getting better, but it's also just actually being able to stay well as well.